Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Dan Waltz from Vancouver, from West Coast. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? I'm really well, thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for being here. So, Dan, you believe humans are what makes good companies. So you have dedicated your career to be part of this. And you have built your career and experience within the field in HR and both internal and agency recruitment roles. And you have approach is based on helping companies build teams and assisting individuals to build their careers. In doing this, uh, you are able to be impactful in growing the company you work for with diversity, incredible, uh, with diverse, incredible individuals. So my first question for you is then in terms of being uh, being happy or being positive while looking for a job. We know that it takes a lot of energy. Sometimes it takes three months, six months. Sometimes it might take one week. It all depends. But we know that it takes longer time, especially for immigrants or international students. Do you have any tips in terms of how to stay positive during those stressful months? Yeah, absolutely. And look, thank you for the uh, introduction because that, that's exactly it. And it, it really leads into my belief on this. Mm -hmm. um, your career should be something which is where the you know where you center your purpose. Mm -hmm. And so when, when I think about that, when I think about that connection between how do I stay positive and finding a career that feels purposeful to me, mm -hmm. the two are so um, inextricably linked. Yeah. Um, and I think where people go wrong and where that um, despair or that that um, struggle comes in yeah. is often when people are focusing on whether they've secured the opportunity or the first opportunity mm -hmm. rather than seeing that they're progressing towards something which is that dream job, that ideal job, that purposeful yeah. job, yes. where they're going to yeah. feel satisfaction and fulfillment on a daily basis. If you do that, mm -hmm. then I feel like every single conversation you have that natural energy, that natural enthusiasm, the human within will mm -hmm. come through, which not only will keep you more positive because you're talking about the things you're passionate about, yep. but it's going to bring across an energy which can be highly attractive to the people that you're speaking to. Uh, and I think that helps people, um, or in my experience, that helps people really be seen for who they are. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And I tell my clients, have a schedule, have an Excel sheet. You know, maybe on Monday you're networking, on Tuesday you are talking to someone, on a Tuesday morning go for a walk on, on English Bay, or Tuesday afternoon meet someone, have a coffee. I think having those schedules also helps to be focused so that you're not in front of the computer all the time. Yeah, and, and I, I agree with that. I think you, when you're not in a job, you do one of two things in an ideal world. You mm. disconnect and therefore you you know, you know, take yourself away from the pressures of that situation um, or you dive in and you immerse yourself. Yeah. Because when you're fully into something and you dedicate that time, that energy and that passion to it, mm -hmm. um, the results are going to come from that. And you're going to feel... Um, you're going to feel energized, for want of a better word, uh, by that whole activity. Now, mm -hmm. if you do it part time and you send a resume off here and you you know look at something here, you're not creating that separation. And I think when you, it's reflective of even this um, post pandemic world where people are losing the boundaries between on time and off time. If you do that with your job search, then mm -hmm. you never truly separate. And most humans need that separation to come back fresh. Yes. So I think that, that makes perfect sense. And I, I would hope that more people would do that. They would give themselves permission to yes. say, right now, I am not. I am going and I'm going to do whatever it is that gives me that release. Yes. Gives me that reset. And then when they focus in, they truly focus in. So now they are entirely in tune with the work that they're trying to do. It's the exact same way that we should be building our careers. Yeah. So again, it's that piece of saying, this is now my primary focus. Yeah. I totally agree with you. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Dan a couple of questions and I'm going yeah. to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can like yeah. all the videos, share and put your comment. So tune in next time for other great questions with Dan. Yeah.